The morning after the rain, the sun was shining bright. Drops of water still sparkled on the leaves, and the garden smelled fresh and new. Yulia's crouched down near a puddle, touching the soft soil with his fingers. He remembered what Miss Clara had said about rain helping plants and flowers grow. Maybe I can grow something too, he said, eyes wide with excitement. He ran inside to find a small paper cup, filled it with soil from the yard, and pressed a tiny seed into it. Grow strong, little one, he whispered. At school that day, Miss Clara greeted the class with her warm smile. Her curly chestnut hair was tied back neatly, and her round glasses glimmered in the morning light. Good morning, class, she said. Good morning, Miss Clara, everyone replied. On the teacher's desk sat a small green plant in a clay pot. Today, we're going to talk about how plants grow, Miss Clara said. Yulia sat up straight. I just planted a seed this morning, he said proudly. Miss Clara beamed. Perfect timing, Yulia, then you'll love this lesson. Miss Clara drew a simple picture on the board, a seed in the ground, a sprout, and a flower. Every plant starts as a seed, she explained. When the rain soaks into the ground, it gives the seed water to drink. The sun gives it warmth and light. Slowly, the seed wakes up and begins to grow. She showed pictures on the screen, seeds cracking open, roots stretching down, tiny green shoots reaching up. The roots hold the plant steady and drink water from the soil, she continued. The stem grows tall and carries the water to the leaves. The leaves use sunlight to make food, and one day, ta-da, the plant blooms. The children gasped in delight. It's like magic, said Lena. It's nature's teamwork again, said Amina softly, smiling. Julius nodded. The rain, the sun, and the earth, they all help the little seed grow. Miss Clara smiled warmly. Exactly, Julius. Every living thing needs a little help to grow. At recess, the children went outside to the school garden. The ground was still damp from yesterday's rain, and tiny sprouts peeked through the soil. Julius knelt down beside a patch of flowers, whispering, you're doing great, little ones, Toby laughed. Are you talking to the plants? Of course, said Julius. They're alive too. Miss Clara overheard and nodded. Talking kindly to plants is good for them, and for you. When school ended, Julius rode the bus home with a smile. He ran straight to his cup in the kitchen window. The seed looked the same, but Julius wasn't disappointed. He remembered Miss Clara's words. Growing takes time. Every day after school, he checked on it, giving it water turning it toward the sunlight and waiting patiently. A few days later, one morning before school, Julius noticed something new, a tiny green sprout poking through the soil. It's growing. He shouted with joy. He smiled proudly and whispered, thank you, rain. Thank you, sun. And as he looked at his little seed reaching up toward the light, he felt something growing inside him too, his endless curiosity. Thanks for watching. See you next time.